Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 21 of my Pokemon Legends Arceus Shiny Let's Play. Where we we defeated Avalug. Yeah. No no sound during that, but um I'll remember the microphone has a unmute button at some point. For now, um let's, let's just see if we can finish off this story, shall we? We don't have to worry about catching any more shiny Pokemon for story's sake at the very least. So maybe I can burn through this story, get to the end of it, and then finish off a bunch of requests through shiny Pokemon. Alright, what do you want, Kamado? Surely nothing bad will come from this conversation, right? Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no expectation for why this calamity befell us, but glad to see it put to an end. Do you think peace would be restored to history by the hand of a mysterious rift-born helper? That's a weird way to put that. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Absolutely, there's nothing else that's going to happen. Go nourish yourself with the Warflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget the Survey Corp's work is not over. It doesn't end until our people can live here in history without fear of Pokemon from around us. Hell yeah. We'll get there, Kamado. Don't worry. All will be well. One moment. There we go. Thank you for this nice as well helping a potato mochi bin. Ben. Benny. Benny old chum. Well, if there's anything else you'd like to recommend, please bring it all out. I'm pretty sure he only knows how to make potato mochi. Mochi mochi. Now that Avalox is well too, the survey can... Oh, I... Yeah, words failed. Certainly had my reservations whether Adelaide like, needed to be quelled. Yeah. You mean the thing, giant Pokemon that had... The, oh, God. Yeah. You guys are weird. But it means bringing calm to everyone, and I suppose we did the right thing. Hey, think about what havoc and frenzied nobles could have wreaked if... Could have wrecked if Pink weren't here. <laughs> Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although, wait. If the risk were to disappear, does that mean Pink would be stuck here? I guess so. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We should look into the matter and find a solution. I have no doubt. And even if... And even if we don't, you always have a home here in Jubilife Village, Pink. I mean, yeah. And a house and everything. I've decorated out. I have a microwave. i got a fridge. Like, I can't just get rid of that stuff. Especially in a point of time when those things don't really exist. Don't question how I got them. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day for the Survey Corps. And don't forget, we've got our sights on nothing less than completing the Pokedex. I'm trying! Oh, Raid, shoot yourself short. The fully-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. I accidentally skipped over those bits. Sure, I guess I'm in. It's time for a heavy meal and heavy sleep. Yeah. Ah, wonderful day's end. Have a nice meal. And again, I'm sure nothing bad is gonna happen. Like, at all. Ah, dang it. I said I had a microwave fridge. I actually don't know what things I do have. I Alright, so I have the fan. I have the washing machine. See, I have a washing machine! I'm the only person here who, like, can clean their clothes properly. Like, I got a fan, keep me cool at night. I'm not getting rid of this place. I like this place. Alright, do I have everything I need? Alright, let's head out. Again, I'm sure everything will be fine. Right? 
Yo, what happened to this guy? Yo, what happened to this guy? This doesn't look good, Pink. Yeah, but bro, what happened to this guy? Is that thing bigger? Did you do this? I didn't do this. I was asleep. Look, all I know is I'm not at fault here. And I'm sure no one would blame me. Right? Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the space-time rift. And the entire sky has gone red. Yeah, it ain't good. I have a word from the commander. I should report to his office at once. I mean, sure. Yeah, I guess he wants me to go, like, inspect the rift or something like that? Uh, the way the sky has changed is ominous. Very ominous indeed. Uh, what's this about, commander? Did you call us all here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. It's more pressing concerns. It must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, one that drove Cleavor into a frenzy. It struck the night the pink fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, pink? Survey Corps member? Indeed, you've done all I ordered. That does not answer the question of who you really are. You came from the rift and did as, <laughs> as did the lightning. You are connected to these frenzies, are you not? Not really. Do you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you brought about yourself? No. Having gained our trust, then what? What is it you are really after? I... I don't know. Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest that Pink has wronged us. Exactly. And besides, do you really think she gets some sort of fearsome power to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a, a doubt that she is free from guilt? This person, the stranger, appeared out of the rift in space-time. Who here can argue... Uh, who here can guarantee she is who she says? And who here can guarantee she is to be trusted? But that's... <laughs> No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Pink supposed to do then? She will be given a chance to investigate this latest disaster, but not as a member of the galaxy team. She remains a suspect unless I can, she can clear her name. There are those in the village who cannot trust the stranger like you who fell from the sky and so I must ask you to leave you are no longer welcome on the galaxy team consider yourself banished from the village until you can explain the cal calamities and keep following these good people no until you've restored this world to its rightful state and then proving your innocence beyond a doubt but my home my washing machine my fan is that clear Celine yes sir oh man I will do what I must as commander of the galaxy team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skills you have displayed. That is why I've chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. You literally couldn't. Nibbles would stop you. You're to be expelled from the village? Seriously? Yeah. Orders are orders. Alright, let's go, I guess. Yeah. Uh, bye, everyone. I I won't be able to buy anything for a while. Why am I scary? I'm just a kid. Right. Where's Giratina when I need him? Has he abandoned me in this moment? I didn't do nothing. Do you think I have, like, magic powers or something? God, I just got Pokemon. Shiny ones, yes. Oh, maybe that's why they fear me. We can take it from here, man. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort her from the village to the field area camp. I'll come too. As will I, naturally. 
I'll allow it. Fine, then I'll mark you down as bound for the Foodlands. Safe travels. This is all gone just absolutely screwy. Guys, what am I gonna do? They came me out. I don't have my house. I don't have any. I don't know how to build a tent. Help me out. Can't believe the boss would do this. You call those nobles friendies under his own orders. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you power to turn all red. Certainly intolerable, and might I add, absurdly unscientific. And as a man of science, I find such ideological thinking to a nail. You must not. You will only cause Pink more pain, and you were driven out as well for defending her. Yeah. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been, obeyed, yeah. You've been an aid to both the Diamond and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adam and or Iridan might take you in. No, I'm afraid they are both already returned to their respective settlements. I think you could at least start by finding Leanne at the Grand Tree Arena. I'm not sure where Maya'd be if you wanted the Diamond Clan. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I will ensure you have all you need to complete your survey. The commander has tasked you with. I might offer my advice. In this life, you will meet both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice you only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm in your own values. And that's pretty good advice, honestly. Just live your life and don't worry about how other people think about you. Or at least try not to. What did the dream I first shared with you on the Prelude Beach to complete the Pokedex? That dream simply won't come true without you. I know, because I'm, I'm literally the only character I can control. And you can just... Oh, God. What am I going to do? Uh -huh. Get out of here. Get out of here, weirdo. Just go for a run. Go for a gallop. I clear my head. And go to this random spot on the map. Actually, what is that random spot on the map? Alright, Grand Tree Arena. Eh, let's do that. But let's, let's... You never know. Might find some shinies on the way. Let's... What is the hope? And since we're here in the fieldlands, we will obviously check the one main shiny that I definitely want to get, which is Alpha Low Bunny. I really will just have to, like, set up a singular hunt to do that at some point. But for now, I'm going to fly over there. Whee! Nah, she's not shiny. Oh, well. In which case, let's head to the Grand Tree Arena and progress this story like we had originally planned. With, as always, like I said, the hope of finding shinies on the way. If I find anything, I'll let you know. If not, then story time. Story time it is. You, what in the world did you do? Why, are you, why does everyone assume it's me? Look at the size of that rift, the lightning pouring from it. All the Pokemon of history could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. Yeah, I know. I should have known that the only thing that would come from the Rift was disaster. Never mind then. Jerk. Is that really what you came to say? Yeah. Look, you need to try to put on Brave Face. I got a Brave Face. Not the one wearing a stupid cowboy hat. You've been a help to the Pearl Clan and we know what kind of person you are. Though it must be said for the every sympathetic ear you might find here, you'll also find the factors who fear your presence. Oh, I am pretty powerful. I truly do wish I could repay you for quelling Cleveland's frenzy as you did. You must know, but there's nothing you can do alone. Wouldn't mind me able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You most likely find Mai at the Warm Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I already Did I already come past that way? Okay, no, she's over here. All right. Hop to it, then. Hello. My, my, what a frightful sky. You don't think I did it as well, do you? 
such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill of ease. I don't know. You don't know what brought us about, do you? I don't. I'm trying to find out. People think I did it for some reason. I suppose too much to expect that you could already have the answer to all this. No. Nah. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to the village of yours, can you? No. But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones that save you. Why not? The Diamond Clan can never war with the Galaxy team if things went really bad. You think you regret that as much as anyone? The Great Weird took a liking to you. I want to offer your support, but forgive me, I can't help you in this. God dang it. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. Yeah, they say that, like, time heals all wounds, but that ain't true. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. Time heals some wounds. Not everything. Ah. Oh. Sweet Lord Giratina, send me a sign. Shinx? I should eat the Shinx. Is that what you're telling me, oh Dark Lord? No, oh, I guess not. Your messages make no sense. Strange events seem to follow you everywhere you go, don't they? Ah, oh, hey, it's Volo. Yeah, hey, this guy. Um, you know, I'm I'm just gonna build a tent out here and live as a hermit. You don't you don't need to help me. It'll be fine. I've been looking for you for all over, you know. What would I were to do if I would lose one of my favorite customers? I don't think I've ever bought anything from you. Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows the most importance. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of the latest news. Yeah, I suppose. Seems like you're in quite a pinch. No place among the Diamond or Pearl Clan. And nothing uh, to say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. Yeah, I know. Like I said, I'm just gonna just cave over there. I'm sure, I could make it look nice. But don't worry, there are still corners of history region where you can stash you away in secret. Okay. You know a perfect spot to hide me away, huh? I don't want to hide away. I want to solve this problem so I can go back to my home with my fan and my washing machine. Here we are. I know, I know, it's not a palace. It's no palace, but... Uh, you know what they say about beggars and choosers. Eh. Beggars can't be choosers. That's what they say. In case you didn't know. Shocking off your work to come pester me again. Even beneath the bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Mrs. Co Mistress Kogita. I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Hisui's myths and legends. No mistress, thank you. Just Kogita. And this is... Hello. I'm pink. Why pink? This is the woman of the hour. She's the one who quelled the frenzies of all the uh, Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, the poor wretch she spoke of, lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one, it seems that be able to f I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Lost one? Indeed, I am to guide you, lost one, for the task of... Preventing this great disaster falls to you. The rift from space-time must be mended. Lest time and space and cells be thrown out of balance. I don't have the time or space for that. Now come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There is much to be told. Yeah. Lord Dump! Space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far, far, far and farthest from ours, dwells Almighty Sinnoh. 
diamond clans? I don't know. It only gives you one option, even though I know the answer. Expensive from antiquity to eternity. The expanse from all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread from here, there, and now into the future. While space yawns all encompassingly surrounding us in every direction. Yeah, pretty much. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all of creation, the universe. How can one claim either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? They're inseparable. Perhaps the truth is clearly clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one, there is what you must do. This here holds three lakes of great importance, Lake Valerie, Lake Valor, and Lake Accusid? Accusid? I don't know that word. Uh, at each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one of the aspects of the mind. Complete the trials that they set you and bear their gifts, the shrouded ruins. Uh, there you may receive the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean they won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what they bid us to do. How true they are isn't mine to know. But regardless of the truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their children without thought for the hardship the world, would, the world caused them. But here you are. You know your duty and you'll do it, won't you? Sure, I guess. There's nothing else going on. Can't go home. No. Yeah. And I don't really have enough sticks to build my house yet, so... Maybe I can just see if I can get back to my normal one. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Oh, sorry. I got text. See the locations of the three lakes marked on your arc phone. Eh, I kind of already know where they are, though. Miss Kogito is. Got a lovely workbench here. If you need any materials, I'll be glad to help. I always do business with you. I need rest too. Needn't worry about that. I'll have drawn. If you don't draw too much attention, I imagine you can see a little bit of shy at one of the base camps. Uh, but, uh. What was that cry? We have a lost Pokemon? As well as lost children. Do see to it, please. And if I refuse, madam. If we go. Yeah, buy stuff. Oh. Fine, we'll progress the story. Progress the story. Hello, hello. It's an Abra. Where did you tell about him from, little fella? He's got a letter. A letter addressed to you, Pink. Take a closer look at the letter. To Pink, you may have use of my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pasture in Jubilife. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize the base camps without any issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an ADAPT Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Silene. Sick. That's yeah, right. Now then, shall we visit the Free Lakes? Doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. I'm sure it would be wonderful. With Kansol, who might help us out. You've got the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a consummate guild merchant. Ooh, do I pick diamond or pearl? I know you get them both, but who do I want to start with? Uh, let's go diamond. The wardens are keeping close eye on their nobles, too. It seems all quiet for the moment, and so here we are. But still, whenever we get away, openly helping. If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, retaliations would grow strained. Or relations would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help you without drawing attention, so it'll have to be one of us. Me or her, it's up to you. The answers should be obvious. Yep, this guy. Obviously, you chose me, right? Who gave you the stuff of food in the first place? That's right, the strapping young man. Yeah, I choose you. I thought so. You can count on me. It literally doesn't matter which one you choose. So then the leftover leader will... Leftover? Not someone scraps. I'll keep a watch on the commander. I imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Of course, of course. 
The lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. Well, the first task will, first task will be to decide which of the Hisuian's three lakes they want to visit first. All right, we're ready to get a move on. No time to waste. I'll meet you wherever we decide to go. We'd be in hot water if we're seen traveling together. I'm counting on you to handle this, Adaman. Don't cause Pink any more trouble. Yay, we gotta hunt the lake spirits. Gotta hunt the lake spirits. Alright. We're not going to the Crimson Islands. We're going here. Going to the first lake in the Fieldlands. Most of this is like super close. It's just like over here. Shiny, shiny along the way. Is that alpha over here you're gonna sparkle? No? Dang it. Don't worry, there's still a Gyarados over here. That might sparkle. Shiny alpha Gyarados? No, okay. Fine, I guess we'll just do the lake spirits. These two counters just missions and not like requests. Right? Yeah, they are missions, missions. Okay. I say the lake actually used to be a volcano when it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water so Lake Verity was born. Sick. Protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that the people's first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Well, that's how the old tales go anyway. Sorry. Getting a message from this weird creature that sent me here. Your arc bone is beeping. There's one hell of a text message. That, that, that cave had just appeared from nowhere. Is the arc phone the professor was going on about? Yeah. Let's do this, Pink. Mistress Kogita seems quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. The challenges. The challenges! Let's see if I can do... Because I know one of them is like a math problem. Gudra... All right, let's go fight Gudra, I guess. This is going to be one of those ones where I can't run from it and just use like, globs and Pokeballs when we're going to have to fight it. I kind of want to see if I can just run away from it. Oh, this is a serious battle. <laughs> Running is not an option. All right. Um, hypnosis. Go sleep. Ow. That oh, wasn't fair. Well, I say fair. It wasn't nice. Yay. Give me more health back. I just want to try and catch it. Not shiny, but why not? Nice. I'm Pokemon pretty high levels. I should be able to get through the rest of this, no problem. That's the way, Pink. Can you tell by watching you and your Pokemon that you've caught and those little balls truly understand one another? Well, let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. Hello. Are you here? I heard a noise. Kyo. Okay. Now we gotta do your challenge. I forget which one yours is. Your emotions, share them with me. 
go for it. So it's speaking from its mind straight to yours. Makes sense for a Pokemon that embodies the aspect of the mind, I guess. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Bewilderment. I don't think it matters what you answer on these. I think you just have to answer. How did it feel the bond with your Pokemon and work together? Exciting. I like this game. Did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clans? It's a wide world. What did you feel when you cast out of the galaxy team? Life is complicated. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. See, I don't think it matters what you answer. You just have to answer. Yay! I got my spritz plume. That was... Easy. Aw, I want to catch you. I'll come back later and do that. Can't even imagine what that must feel like. Having I mean, Pokemon talk to you without words. Well, the world's full of mysteries, I guess. You can hardly be surprised that things like this after seeing the sky itself so warped. Two lakes left to visit. I know. But serious question, why are you here? Like, what do you bring to this team? Uh, you can say it's because I'm a merchant. I was not paying attention to what was originally being said. Uh, you can say it's because I'm a merchant. Mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I just want to know exactly what happened in the past and let us be particulars at the present. Yeah, yeah, you're just a big history buff. We've been able to talk on task for us. We want to head to Miss Quiggy's Um, Yeah, let's go back. Let's just progress the story. Perfect. I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. I mean, rather than waste time going back and talking to her, wouldn't it be easier just to go and get the rest of them? So the legends are true, then the red chain must be real as well. I mean, yeah. I guess, but this all makes no sense to me. I guess these Pokemon represent our minds, and then they would give us things, and then let's bind the world and solve this mess. But how? Why? You don't see just a keen intellect. I see you're not clan's leader for nothing. About the mind, were the rift to awake, and then the world would very end, would we even know it? One might even say... The world, time, space, all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the red chain's purpose is to let one of creation truly use it. I get it even less now. Such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of all my sinew and the nature of the world in which we must dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and lessons are such fascinating fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. The confidence of success to which you contribute to nothing. You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. And gawk he will, because I'm the one doing everything. Alright, Adam, let's head here, because this is the one it has picked for us, apparently. Okay, um, where are we going? Okay, it's all the way over here. Uh, yeah, right. So, up here, and away we go. 
And like I have always been asking, any shinies on the way? That'd be nice. Just saying. no shinies on the way but we're here now so let's go talk to these idiots and get this bit of story done as well hello volo acuity is that how you pronounce it here we are at like acuity you know i've been told it actually contains seawater as well nobody knows why though could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps a connection to a Pokemon somehow. Probably. The Kikuriti is protected by the Pokemon Uxi. Uxi took flight in order to the problem that was born, blah 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 blah. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Let's see what's waiting for us. Ah, that'll do it. Is my Pokemon healed from before? Yes. Okay. Good. Fight me, oh stranger. I doubt they can be. It would be nice if these could randomly be shiny. I assume these are shiny lock, though. Like most sort of encounter Pokemon. All the legends in this game are shiny locked, which is annoying. I hope they're not in ZA. I imagine they will be, but I hope they're not. I'm gonna do a lot of shiny hunting in the Legends EA. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll do air slash. Hopefully it doesn't one shot. Ooh. Should be able to catch it. Yeah, when Legends EA comes out, I'm going to see if I can do a 24-hour stream. I think that'd be cool. Got to figure out where I'm going to start streaming again, though. Twitch or YouTube. All right, Adaman. What are we doing now? I feel a mysterious presence. Presence I haven't felt since... That's what it sounds like, right? Are you the one that asks questions? Yeah. Alright. Combi, Zumba, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. Combi. Six. Seven. Magneton. I think it says three. 9, 10, 11. Can you repeat that? Combi? I think it has six eyes. Zubat doesn't have any. Technically. Right, Combi, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. An unknown has one eye. So that's 7. Magneton has three, so that's ten. Is it eleven? How many 
are their eyes? Tell me each one by one. Yeah, all at once. Okay. Oh, okay. One by one, yet yeah, all at once. So it's six, zero, one, three, one. That was it. The wording on that thing always messes me up. Like I never remember. I can never remember. It was like you had to add them all together, but it's like no, you have to each of them in order, but as at the same time. All right, we've got what we needed right here. Do we have to go back to Kugita, or can I just go do this? So I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? Why are all this running about? I guess I can think of two reasons to keep the chain safe and to test this. Perhaps you're right, who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands after all. Though having said that, isn't the red chain for mending the world? What use would some villain have for it? Who can say for sure, maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. You could well be right. I guess we'll have no way of knowing until we get the red chain for ourselves. Yeah, I guess. Let's go back. Talk to her. Rather than, you know, go do the thing that we were supposed to do. Let's use these claws and some warmth to it. Pokemon on the lakes are strange. They seem to play in the mind somehow. Indeed. Yeah, we may wish to add a dash more speed to this tube of life. Things are tense. Makes you say so. Seems that Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Kinko... Yeah, Kinko guild merchants informed me that Commander Kamavada has raised forces. Not to survey the Pokemon, but to do it, should the need arise. Now, if the Pokemon were truly fear beyond the Rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? It depends on the Pokemon, I guess. Yes, there is no time to lose. We should get going. You guys really are slowing me down. I am tired of this dialogue. Dramatic roll! You think we're headed the last lake, you know this. It's like you don't pay attention to anything I do or say. Alright. So yeah, it's over there. But since since we're here, hold on, hold on. We might we might as well just do a quick quick little check. You never know. Shall for Raichu? No shall for Raichu. Okay, okay, it's fine. Not today at least. But uh, maybe next time. Uh, let's take the more direct route then. What others were presenting to us. Just fly straight there. At least that's the hope. Shinies. Any shinies. Anyone want to shine for me? It's like Carnivine at this point. Really? No shinies. That's just how it is, huh? Too rude. Alright, guys. Uh, Lake Valo is said to have uh, something about a volcano. Theories are embedded by a Pokemon battle. Azelf. Flight. Something about people's hearts. I got a text. Let's do this. Arc phone. Text message. Open door. I find it funny that you, the only way to open these secret passages in the past is to have a piece of technology from the future, um, you know, crafted by God. 
All right, here we go, pink. Imagine a Pokemon walking away inside, protecting. Um, Overquill. That's my guess. I don't know why. Let's see if I'm right. Alpha Overquill as well. Oh, how did I know? It's like I played this game before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, pointy one. Fish me. I mean, with a cry like that, you're literally asking to be fished. Your cry is fishy me. In the meantime. Hey. You're not supposed to avoid that. You're supposed to go to sleep. Alright, fine. Be that way. It's just rude. Inconsiderate. Again, the Pokeball. Well, Ultra Ball. Alright, cool. Cheers. Now we fight Azelf in single combat. Right? Is that what happens? Pretty sure that's what happens. It's my pink. Why am I your pink all of a sudden? That's weird. I belong to no one. Kuhn. <laughs> From your your un unyielding will, strike me if you can. I mean, I can't until you let me. So you know, just give up. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Come on, where are you now? Here, voice is heard. Will you abandon this folly? I'm not through yet. Out of all three of them, this is the most annoying one. You literally just have to keep doing this. And you can't hit them because they just disappear beforehand. Then you get another cutscene being like, will you abandon this far? I think you have to do it two, three times. Seems you're a biscuit, but I'm not through yet. Well, that's the whole point. You have to show them your enduring will. Can't lock onto them either. Give up your struggle in vain. Will you press on? I'm not done yet. There we go. Now in that one, you could have locked onto them and then you hit them. Then you succeed. Yay. Take this piece of their spirit. What do they get? They got a plume. They got a claw. They get a toenail. Or a fang. Why did give them parts of their body? That's weird. Yay, the journey is complete. Can we get out of here? This cave smells weird. I don't want to make it my home. Unless I absolutely have to. Well, we did the thing. We gotta, we gotta go do the thing. Where we fight. All the gods. I think it's all the gods. Shrouded ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things. It's so long it's said to have been bled by boundaries. If we somehow bring together the world of humans and the Pokemon, the world of myth, maybe it'll settle such things. That being said, what are we meant to do now? It seems I've made it in time. Or made it in space. No. Wrong clan. 
Uh, showing up on the time is right, huh? Uh, I have the aid of rem remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Giratina. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. We speak the divine instrument, once said to be capable of binding the blood. Do you really imagine it could be forged by mortal hands? Yeah? What are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Hello? Oh. 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 oh! Ah, Pokemon of the Lakes. We will take back all of our parts and make them into a beautiful necklace. For that is the wish of the gods. Sick. Bye. I wish you were shiny in this game. So it was true, the pact of our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept at last. I can set this burden aside. You succeeded once again, Pink. Yet things do not seem to be going well for the rest of the world. I mean, things aren't going well for me at this moment. Do you have a home to live in? Because I don't. What's that supposed to mean? Well... I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Kinko Guild. It seems that the commander is going to uh, forego waiting our investigation as he plans to climb the mountain himself. God damn idiot. What is he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against a space-time rift? Well, he doesn't yet know our pink has managed to succeed the red chain, does he? No, because he's a fool. Alright. I'm skipping over this dialogue. There we go. That was... It's completely worth it. I'm also going to skip through most of this other stuff. I just want to get to the... We're basically nearly finished with the main story. All right. <laughs> huh? Who's going to stop me from entering the village, huh? Wait, Pink, it's you. I can't believe I just let you pass right by. What, are you here to stop me? I think, goodness, you're still alive. I, I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be all right. No, you didn't. I don't think you have any faith in me. Wait one second. I'll let the captain and the presser know you're back. I, I was going to go that way anyway. Why would you bring them here when I could have just gone with you? Professor, I know you've been right about pink, but there's no need to cry. I'm not crying. I'm not going Loser. You're stupid. And besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep over your worrying if you're over your friend? <laughs> you, you didn't have to tell her that. Just ignore him. Anyway, where's Captain Selene? Wasn't she with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We should join the Survey Corps office. Yeah, I know we are. The commander is gone? Yeah, I know, he's on at the top of the mountain. Can we just go there already? So I could beat everyone up. I mean, pretty easy. <laughs> All moving forward. Uh, I must assume you're here again because you managed to sign the news. Uh, I got this red chain. Go on. Lake spirits did a test made. Got their bits, and they made a chain, and now I'm going to use it to bind the world. Yeah, bind the very world. Yeah, I know he's not here. Everyone keeps telling me where he's not here. I know where he is. He's at the top of the mountain. People have already told me that. I know. This is like the fourth time this information has been repeated to me. Can I just go to the mountain, please? Thank you. I mean, the boss isn't here, that makes her in charge, right? The manager's not here, the assistant manager's in charge. Let's just go. Thank you. 
I'm not talking to you, Lucario. You, you're a Pokemon. You don't even know how to speak. What if I just stopped with the story and just started doing requests right now while this guy was so weird? Yo, you got any more stuff in my house now that I'm back? Uh, yeah, I'll take... Oh, I don't have enough money. Yo, what can I sell you? Okay. You got lots of stuff. That's great. Buy my stuff. For a reasonable price. Hmm. I don't... I don't, I don't think I can afford that stuff. Not yet, at least. I'm gonna go catch a bunch of Pokemon, I guess. What do you want, Adamant? You better not be here to challenge me to a battle. There you are, Pink. Irida's already headed to Mount Cornet. The commander's already at Mount Cornet. I know. He's already started up the mountain. He must be more reckless and dignified manner. Uh, not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. That's true. Well, all right. I guess I'm going after him. We're all going after him. Let me go first. Pink, if you were to show up with no warning, he'd probably be a fight. Our times are wasting. Yeah. I know. What do you want? Are you a ghost? Yes, I was running out of the village. And yes, I am still helping you because good gods know no one else is going to do anything. Oh, that's... How did you get this? Did she steal it? I'm fairly certain she stole it. Make for the summit. Use the chain. Return her alive. Those were my plans originally. So let's do that. And I swear if Melly talks to me even once, I'm a from off a cliff. Now we get the camp. There we go. Finally. I heard the latest, so you've been accepted back to the galaxy team, have you? Eh, kind of. Hey, thanks. I'm gonna need those. Maybe. I don't know. You're not planning to fight me, are you, Volo? For any reason? All right, everyone's already at the mountain. Mountain's getting worse. Blah, blah, blah. You sure do talk a lot, Volo. All right, that's it. What did I say about you speaking to me? Off the mountain. All right. Well, since things are going to get bad, we might as well grab everything else. Put them in some form of organization, I guess. All right. First things first. We're not talking to that guy. I don't know if it counts as nighttime or not, but um, no, it counts as daytime. Oh, let's see if the Miss Magius was there. So what we will do... Let's go to sleep. And then see if the Alpha Miss Magius is there. See if it's shiny. And if it's not, then we'll move on and continue the rest of the story. Because I want the shiny giant green witch. Nobody cares about your sphere. Ah, Alpha Rotom, though. That's cool. Oh, well. No shiny witch. 
Up the mountain we go. I'm gonna sell another alpha along the way. This will be the last chance before some real story stuff kicks in. Did you get a shiny? Dinger. Alright, 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 alright. Am I allowed to go in here? Yeah, cool. Okay. I should run up this part of the mountain. I'm certain no one will get in my way. Eh, Benny, what are you doing here? Why, why is this fry cook like here? Can I help you? Oh, still alive and kicking. Yeah. Sorry about having to shut the wolf though. I'd rush Marva. I'd much rather be there serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. Again, is that the only thing you know how to make? But the taskmaster Kamado has gone and left me to oversee the food supplies. Well, he he finds a way to put even old bones to work. While I'm handling what I'm supposed to, I'll handle you as well. Get rid of you once and for all. Are you serious? Make myself plain. I'll make myself plain. It's Kamado's right hand. I'm charged with executing gritty deeds that Kamado himself won't do. Aw, oh, man. You're not like, I don't know, secretly a ninja or something, are you? Oh my god, he's secretly a ninja. When I heard you managed to quell the nobles one after another, oh, did it make my blood run hot and my heart pound? At last, at last. Oh, I guess you finally found a worthy opponent. Yeah, there we go. All right, Benny. Let's do this. Hey! I was gonna catch one of those, but shiny. Uh, I don't think I have anything for this. Not on you. I don't wanna switch to blimp. I will spitch. Smitch? I'll smitch to mirror. My, your colors are so muted in here. That'll do it. Ooh. Oh no. Okay, I'm good. Thunderfang? Paralyzed as well. Eh, I don't think I'll matter too much. Quick attack should do it. Uh, oh and two at the current moment, Benny. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Matters not. Get him, nibbles. Cross poison should one shot. Yeah. Well, you only got one Pokemon left, Benny. What you got? Really delayed. I regret my words. But not today. I regret my words. She blimp. If this was any other Pokemon game, none of my Pokemon would be dead because they're so much stronger. Oh, come on. Fine. Are you strong style to get that extra boost in power to take you out in effectively one shot? The battle mechanics in this is silly sometimes. <laughs> yeah, well. At least I beat an old ninja. Why are you a ninja, by the way? Like, of all things, why a ninja? 
I suppose Kamado is supposed to be a samurai? Part of the world are they originally from? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Part of the world are you guys originally from? Are you going to heal me? Yeah, I know. You don't hate me. You just have to stop me because that's what you were told to do. Can you stop speaking so I can go? You sure do say a lot of stuff. Something, something, something mochi. Okay, he healed everyone as well. Might as well grab the iron chunks while I'm there, because... Free iron chunks. Ooh. Wow. It's a good shot. Okay. Okay, what are you selling me? What have you got? I mean, I've only got three, so I guess I'll just get up to ten. That's how many max revives I have, and these are some ultra balls. Not that I'm going to be catching much at this point, literally at this point in the game, but you know. I suppose there's one. You brought the red chain? Ah, dinger, I left it at home. All right, let's go back. You're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop that mountain. I know. Pokemon has apparently been sighted through the rift. I think it might be Almighty Sinnoh. But Commander Kamado just keeps stopping us from heading towards the temple. Let me go defeat him in single combat. It's the only thing he'll respect. All right, Kamado. I always knew it would come to this. Because again, I've played the game before. Nice armor, though. This red chain of yours will bind the world. Assuming it binds the world, it means to hold the world together and keeping that means... Welcome, my dear. I can't... Can I, can I truly put my faith in such a... Yeah, trust me! I did everything you asked, and then you blamed me when it all went wrong. Okay. Uh, what do you think? This is a more sort of trick. She worked mightily to get that thing, and I should know I was over the whole time. Yeah, I was like, we have to keep your involvement a secret when we get there. I was there the whole time! It's like, good job, Adamant. Alright, so... Now let's just fight him, earn his trust. I'm the strongest. Let's just battle. I forget, is he the first person I fight who has... I was about to say, does he have six? No, he only has four. Braviary. Again, I've done this, played this game multiple times. I don't remember anyone's team except for one person. Alright, leech life. Not myself going on. None of my moves are particularly strong, but none of them are particularly weak, so... I guess I'll just... Oh, no. Am I dead? What? That is just rude. So rude. Oh, yeah, why not? Hello. Oh, I gotta get you some better moves. You still have Thunder Shock. Not Thunder Bolt. And Bite, not Crunch. Oh. Hey. Uh, same again, in the hopes of paralyzing. Same again, in the hopes of paralyzing. Paralyze. Same again, in the hopes of paralyzing. Same again, in the hopes of paralyzing. 
Okay. Don't worry, I'll just hit it four times and not paralyze. That makes sense. Elizabeth, punch him to death. Drain his life force. And eat it to grow stronger. Good gods, she has so much health. Golem looks so small <laughs> compared to her. Looks like if she kicked him, he would just be punted into the moon. Then become like a second moon. Cool. I'm so glad you killed yourself and I didn't have to. I think you might be a bit outclassed here, Clefable. I'm still going to Drain Punch you, even though it's not effective, because I just want a bit of health back. Well, oh, that was pointless. Calm mind. I mean, I guess, that's, I guess if that's what you're into, but... Strong Star Flame Pro, this might do something. Burn? Yeah, that's what we want. I do find it weird that Commander Kamado has a cool fable on his team. Interesting, honestly. Cool, can I do anything? My power of the, like the power of my psychic move. I mean, I was about to say I'm so dead, but apparently I'm not. I'm still the littlest bit of health they have left. At this point, I think I heal after this, but still. Did I not gain anything? <laughs> that was silly. There we are. You have been. Defeated. We truly are forced to be reckoned with. I know. Uh, Pink, the fates have decided. I concede, and I must apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander. I know I have no right to ask this of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the galaxy team, for the galaxy expedition team. No, for the sake of the Celestia, and the people, and all of living in history. All right. Don't worry, we got the red chain. We got the red chain to help people. So of course I'm going to help people, regardless of whether you ask me or not. All right, everyone's healed. Onwards. Let's say, can I save here? Probably a good idea. I like this temple because, like, you get all the noble Pokemon or statues, like in each area that you would have gone through. And then we get this: the big fight. Something's talking inside my head. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human. Uh, Adamant, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? Almighty Sinnoh? I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me. He's telling me you hold the red chain. Try and catch me, human. For the fight to come. You better give me Ultra Balls. Good. I'm glad your 10 will be added to my 250 pre-existing Ultra Balls. This is such a good scene.
What up, Dialga? Yeah, that's right. We've got that chain. Calm your power down. And now we fight! Go, nibbles! Fight the god of time. Make him feel eepy. Why are you like this? Feel eepy. You know what, air slash. I'll just try and chip your health down. If you're not going to play along, then we'll do this the hard way. Congratulations, you killed my bat. I hope you're happy. Orb. Orb. Shiny orb. Mud slap. Ooh. I was not expecting it to be a critical hit. Get in the bowl. Easy. That's just how easy it is to catch a god. I should have thrown an ultra ball right away. That would have been amazing if I caught it. Sick. Not disaster over, I guess. Every chain is to be shattered, but we owe the Pokemon on of the lakes. <laughs> Thanks for getting us this far. Well done, Pink Mine Magical. Massively handed. Uh, has anyone else noticed that the sky is still kind of uh, borked? You, you guys are all like, yay, you won, you did it. But, like, things still aren't great. No, oh, Dialga, he speaks to me. Space time is torn, awful powers spill forth. The frenzied one comes to fight. Now, human, fight with me. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed into bits. Even Pink couldn't tackle the Pokemon as strong as the last one. Now, this is the cutscene that I was. This is the one I was originally thinking of. What up, Palkia? Run! Run away! No, it isn't this one. There's a really good cutscene later on. I don't know if it's now or when you come back. Get, get the fancy book. <laughs> Forget the fancy talk. Book it. Come on. Right back to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before the other almighty center decides it wants to fight us. But come on, duh. You can't just leave it here. You're done, so you won't be. Yeah, good. <laughs> you won't be of use to anybody if you die up in the mountain. What are you waiting for? We gotta get gone. I can beat it. Easy mode. Oh, hey everyone. That's dreadful power. Certainly burning on our current capabilities. Ooh. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it pink. Do you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? That seems like it was built up the same energy what caused the strange lightning that threw the Nova Pokemon into a frenzy state. So it was a bad thing. I can't believe there are really two almighty sinners after all. Guess that means neither of our clans were wrong, huh? But neither of you were right. And that's what matters to me. I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. And the both of you as well as fellow leaders. 
useful the truth that I could not. You never abandon your trust in Pink. And to you, Pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You acted ill for you were trying to do your best, but you acted brashly and blah 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 blah. Can we get to the main point of the story? Everyone's apologizing to everyone. Yeah, get to the matter hand. All well, the thing is, uh, we have things quite say up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You, Mr. Professor, you rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past. That's what I expect from a real scientist. Dependable attitude, indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions, not to mention my loss of composure. It seems that having Pink about be a good influence on us all. Come on! Enough of this, like, hippie meeting. We gotta figure out what we gotta do. Some almighty Dialga told me what to do. Is that the Pokemon that spoke to you? Yes. Along with its name, it also told me what we need. Stone of creation's beginning. The chain of red. The vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three. And calm chaos now. Uh, pervading space. Finally, I al Almighty Dialga said it wants to go with us to go back to the temple. That means I gotta have a non shiny in my party. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, I do have a shiny Dialga. I wonder if it'll still, I wonder if it'll still count. Or does it have to be the main story one? Alright, so we gotta make another Pokeball that have some special ore. Got it. Can we go find this ore? I bet I know where it is. Okay. Are you gonna go read some the plates? So we have to go back and then come back. The earth plate says when the universe created it's shards became the plate. I think it might be a hint of what we need. Do you mean? Do you see? We must search for the stone or Rather, or I suppose it shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I might believe long, young Lian might just know where to. Oh, I know where it is! It's down that hill over there! I'm just skipping your dialogue now. You're just, you're just talking too much. Way too much. I was ignoring you on purpose. A little task to get on with. What about the Great Melee? Where's my role in all this? Don't get involved. <laughs> Give me a job, Great Leader Adam, and make it a good one. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles, keeping the people and clans from panicking. Take a hint. <laughs> Shut up, Melly. Just shut up. Oh, what are you gonna give me as a reward? Oh, cool. I'll be sure to discard them later. You shut ugly hat suits you poorly in this important role, does. Blah, 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 Melly. A series of ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first to consult. Yeah. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleaver in battle, with that bumbling ball of yours. Excuse me, that bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Give it a rest. Go, go stand over there and do nothing. Uh, we make for the primeval grotto. Sweet. Hold on. Um. There we go. Uh, make sure anything Melly gives me uh, isn't kept. Do 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 do. I'm gonna take the route I would normally take. You could just fly straight down there, but you know, pass some Pokemon while we're at it. You never know. 
we might find some shinies along the way. Doubtful. That'd be nice. Jeez. That alpha was angry at me. Do I have a probo pass? I do have a probo pass. trying to kill me. Get out of here. Alright, I caught him. I don't know why I took that moment to do that, but sure. Oh, hey, look, it's this special glowing rock that was in the wall that we know about the whole time. There's extraordinary power coming from here, as if the world itself created this very place. That's how things work. What do you think, Leanne? Taking into consideration my knowledge of ores and my skill at mining and strength of my Silagoo's moves. I think you'd best leave the extraction work at first. What do you say? We're going to ask you I have to ask you to stop right there. Why are you doing this? Oh come on, who's there? We don't have any time to waste with Clover, we haven't seen you since you walked out on the clan. We've been this whole time. I don't have to tell you nothing. I mean, that's true, but... You know. Doing out the treasure after all this? Give it to us. No. Ah, can we just skip to the part where I beat you all in... A fight. Then I get the ore. You only have two Pokemon. I have nothing to fear from you. See? Right on. Really? You got, you got nothing... Nothing good? That is just rude. I'll just take that HP back, shall I? At least most of it. Oh, I should have strengthened it, but... Crit? Hey, it was crit. Bye-bye, Rhydon. Ah, no, the spikes in my blood. Oh, Gengar. I don't think that would kill. That probably will. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you. You should be resistant to most of their moves, but also have a very strong move to destroy them. I gotta go back to the camp and sort your moves out. I never did sort out mirrors either. Oh my god. Well, you are rather formidable. Yeah, I know. Are we done here? It's what we were trying to do. We were trying to fix the sky, and then you got in the way. Idiots. Honestly, those three, where do they even come for here? Oh, well, let's heal up everyone's Pokemon. Oh, I mean, to be fair, why would you name a child Coin? Uh, 
That's probably why she acted that way, because you named her Coin. Some of the original, or whatever it's supposed to be called. Yeah, give it to me, it's mine. Gimme, 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 gimme. Taint a piece of original. Yay! That was surprisingly easy. You simply failed to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my work, honestly. Yeah, it's true. Leanne's pretty good. Alright, let's get back to Juba Life. Give this to the Professor. Uh, or we gotta go back up here and give it to the Professor. Yeah. Um, first things first. Let me change your moves. Okay, so you don't even know, like... Oh, you do know Crunch, though. I don't know why you didn't know Crunch before. Um, but let's... Ooh, so close to leveling up. I don't have any more. You got anything? No? Okay. Alright. Let's progress the story even further. That is literally all this episode is. It's just completing the game. It's also why I'm kind of rushing it, because I just want to get back to shiny hunting. I've been just asked since you brought that up. Uh, the origin of what exactly? Everything by the sound of it. Exactly. Now let's get back to Jubilee Village. Or I assume you'll make a Pokeball with it. Here you are, Professor Lamerton. What remains of the red chain is broken. Splendid. Even in pieces, we'll find it still fits purpose perfectly. Try to lucky you're the foresight to pick up the pieces back at the temple. We're up next, Pink. Time for whatever that stone is called. Why did I just hand it to him? Fragments of the red chain collected at great personal risk by the Pearl Clan. The stone of creation at the beginning, which we first learned makes the Diamond Clan. Now it's time for the galaxy team to play its part and turn all these items into a proper vessel. Ray, my boy, you're one of the team's greatest craftspeople. Did you do the honors? I'm the greatest craftsperson! How dare you! Well, I guess we'll just wait out here. Come on, Professor, I wish I'd hurry up in there. I suspect all your prattling about the value of time is to cover up your own impatience. Sitting back and waiting actually... If sitting back and waiting actually solves things, I'd sit forever because that would be about using time well unlike this. Man, he's got a point. So, uh, see any good movies late? Oh, we're done. I'd have it's the origin ball. Sick. Wicked sick. It's a cool design. What if you get prop ones of those? I might see if I can get one. That'd be cool to have on the shelf. These Pokeballs of yours are awfully wonderful. I think the fate of fists we could rest in something so tiny. It's not as small. <laughs> Pretty big. It's not like the Pokeballs of the future that can become even smaller. Wait, hold on. The voice, I hear it in my head again. You mean Dialga? Yeah. Seems like Mighty Dialga is willing to lend its strength in this fight. That's what it's telling me. That's certainly excellent news. I don't know if clan's almighty center, or perhaps should I say Dialga, is fearsomely powerful. Alright, yeah. Do I have to go get Dialga and put them on my team? I think I do. I don't know if I do, but I'm going to just to make sure anyway. I'm not going to give me another cutscene the moment I walk outside. Okay, good. Hi, bye. Kugita. What do you want? <laughs> There's something really funny about just turning the corner, having Dialga, the god of time, being like, Hello. I'm in a pen. Yes. Um, I need, I need that one. 
The one behind you. There you are. Uh, let's put you in a... Uh... Actually, we won't put you in pasture 30. We'll put you in pasture 27. Yeah? Yeah. Put you in... Yeah, 27. Ooh, who do we replace you with? I think, all due respect, I'm going to replace you with Blimp. Because I can't remember if you... I think you do, for like cutscene purposes, need Dialga on your team. Alright, Amber Pump. Yeah. It's so wild being able to see the shinies as well. That's cool. Alright, Kogita. I, I did the thing. I have Pokemon on me. Let's progress this story to the end. Because we've been recording for an hour and 40 minutes at this point. Here you are, lost one, ready to face your destiny atop the mountain. I'll go where I must. I hark on my words, young one. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. The being you will encounter at the top of the temple is of Sinnoh is Palkia, the ruler of all space. If it is allowed to run wild, space itself will warp and bend in history, and eventually everything in the world may be broken. Ah. Yeah, that's what you need. Yeah, I've got to do the thing. Space, time, time, space. They have to kiss and make everything better. <laughs> Excuse me, this isn't time for shopping. Well, I can hardly have time for shopping if the world ends. Get on, young man. Fair point. <laughs> I like that. He's like, this isn't exactly the time for shopping. The world's ending. She's like, yeah, the world's ending. So I might not have another time to shop. And he's like, you know what? You got a good point. I, yeah, I did the thing. I assume they point you to that way to be like, yeah, go get the alga. Summit camp. Right. Let me summon my weird dog. That's what weird here is, right? Just a weird dog. I guess. That's how you want to look at it. All right. Summon weird here. Run up mountain. Yell that by Alpha Electrovere. Thanks. The rudeness there. Right. I'm annoyed that you have to press A to end it because that means I have to redo that. Do this. Do that. Oh, you're not going to make me fight you, are you? Oh, I can't remember. I don't think you are. I think you're like, I have stuff. Do you want to buy it? I'm sorry, the whole time we've been on me, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, so you're just here to be like, you can buy stuff for me if you need to. Dude, I got 346 bucks to my name. I don't... I can't buy anything you're selling. I'm pretty tapped out. Why am I on Sneasler now? That was there. I just want to get the iron chunks. All right. Get on, dog. Leave cave. Okay. Here we are. Back at the top of the mountain again. Hello, everyone. Is this the cutscene I want to see? Not yet. Protecting Jubilee Village. You thought it'd be you. You ready for this challenge? Recruit. Why? Why? I'm. Come on. Everything will be fine. We'll support you in whatever way we can. The best way you can support me is to get out of my way. If I'm being perfectly honest with you. This is the cutscene. Hello, how are you?
Yes. See? He blew it up. He turned it into the temple in the modern games. I love that. Origins Park, yeah. Big horse. Bonjour. And now we can't go fight. Let's do this. this I got this here's one more no okay come on easy Easy mode. Enough horsing around. It's time to end this fight. the red sky and close the rift meaning you can never go home it's fine she she called it she did it she did it well I was not lying right she actually went and caught it oh Good show. What a catch. You contain the fearsome thing in the origin ball. Absolutely astounding as ever, Pink. First ever master ball. Thanks, Sinnoh. Just what I'd expect from my approach today. I'm sorry, your what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even the commander sheds a tear now and then. And I thought I'd see the day. What a sight to have witnessed. <laughs> <laughs> he just beat them both up. Yeah. Listen up, all of you. We faced a calamity unlike any we have known, and we have overcome it by working as one. Falls for a celebration, a festival, if you will. Gather your clans, also with the greatest celebration history has ever seen. A celebration with the Diamond Clan? Two clans together, huh? I mean, come on, you've basically both learned the truth that you're both right and wrong at the same time. Since it turns out we were both following a true and almighty sinner of our own, I guess that means times when we'd fight over who was right or wrong in the ancient history now. I'm sure our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree. But this might as well be a path towards protecting the space that we all share. Let us celebrate for tomorrow, <laughs> for today dawns a new day for all those in the history region. Huzzah! Me and my mustache. Okay, I'll just... 
I'll just stay here then, shall I? I'll be back. Don't you worry. Yes. Well, story over. Then we get back to doing research requests and hunting shiny Pokemon. There is still some technically some story missions to finish after this, uh, but they're not as important anymore. Like we can do those whenever. And I will, because you need them to complete the Pokedex. Uh, but I'll let these credits play. I'll probably skip through them after I've finished speaking, and then we'll cut back to the main story of it back being back in the village. I was definitely paying attention. Oh, my arc phone is beeping. Seek out all Pokemon. That is the plan. All right. We're back. Caught one Palkia. Got my house again. My fan, my washing machine, all good. I step outside and have a cutscene conversation. I'm sure. Hey, Ray. Morning, Pink. So the space-time rift is gone, which means we can finally close the books on this whole mess. Well, in any case, there's one book we can't close yet. It's the Pokedex. Now to get back to our official survey duty and completing it. I was planning to. We're going to meet in the Survey Corp's office to discuss how we'll tackle all the work now that's left. See you in there, Pink. You know what? We will do that. But we'll do that next time, because this has been one long episode. That is where I'm going to call it for now. No shiny Pokemon caught this week, but I kind of knew that would be the plan. This was basically the run to the end of the main story. The capturing of uh, Dialga and Palkia. Where are they? There's Palkia. I'm going to put those in a completely different box. So yeah, there we are. We have... Is there a way to show them on there? No. Either way. Yeah, the capture of the god of space and time. And there's Alpha Overquill. So we got those done. And yeah, that'll be it for this week. Like I say, it's going to be a long one, but it's just going to be story stuff. So... We'll see how this does. But next week, I say next week, well, next episode. Um, yeah, we got, we're going to go start up, probably do some of the other missions to get some of the other legendaries, but that shouldn't take a lot. But we'll probably be doing some of these requests because we got a lot of requests to do. And I also think this will unlock the Daybreak DLC for us, which means we could, we're could, we going to have to capture eight, I want to say eight different shinies in order to complete the Daybreak DLC, which means we'll unlock massive mass outbreaks, which means we'll be able to shiny hunt even better. But until then, I'm going to call it for this episode. Thank you all for everyone who watched. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you feel like it. I would really appreciate if you did. It would help me out a lot. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye.